faith. The perception of the exterior consciousness may deny the perception of the psychic, but the psychic has the true knowledge, an intuitive, instinctive knowledge. It says, I know. I cannot give reasons, but I know. For its knowledge is not mental, based on experience or proved true. It does not believe after proofs are given. Faith is the movement of the soul, whose knowledge is spontaneous and direct. Even if the whole world denies and brings forward a thousand proofs to the contrary, still it knows by an inner knowledge, a direct perception that can understand against everything, a perception by identity. The knowledge of the psychic is something which is concrete and tangible, a solid mass. You can also bring it into your mental, your vital, your physical, and then you have an integral faith, a faith which can really move mountains. But nothing in the being must come and say, it's not like that, or ask for a test. By the least half-belief you spoil matters. How can the supreme manifest if faith is not integral and immovable? Faith in itself is always unshakable. That is its very nature, for otherwise it is not faith at all. But it may happen that the mind, or the vital, or the physical, does not follow the psychic movement. A man can come to a yogi and have a sudden faith that this person will lead him to his goal. He does not know whether this person has knowledge or not. He feels a psychic shock, and knows he has met his master. He does not believe after long mental consideration or seeing many miracles, and this is the only kind of faith worthwhile. You will always miss your destiny if you start arguing. Some people sit down and consider whether the psychic impulse is reasonable or not. It is not really by what is called blind faith that people are misled. They often say, Oh, I have believed in this or that man, and he has betrayed me. But in fact, the fault lies not with the man, but with the believer. It is some weakness in himself. If he had kept his faith intact, he would have changed the man. It is because he did not remain in the same faith consciousness that he found himself betrayed and did not make the man what he wanted him to be. If he had had integral faith, he would have obliged the man, the man to change. It is always by faith that miracles happen. A person goes to another and has contact with the Divine Presence. If he can keep this contact pure and sustained, it will oblige the Divine Consciousness to manifest in the most material. But all depends on your own standard and your own sincerity. And the more you are psychically ready, the more you are led to the right source, the right master. The psychic and its faith are always sincere. But if in your exterior being there is insincerity, and if you are seeking not spiritual life but personal powers, that can mislead you. It is that, and not your faith, that misleads you. Pure in itself, faith can get mixed up in the being with low movements and it is then that you are misled. From the Mother, Questions and Answers, 1929 to 1931.